How could you let Balthazar Brat just get away? You're fired! Well, when a movie franchise, even if there's only been two under this name, makes about a billion and a half dollars worldwide, you can bet there's going to be more coming down the pike, and that's exactly what we have now with the cleverly titled Despicable Me 3. Uh, Despicable Me 3 follows the antics of Gru and Lucy. Gru is, of course, voiced by Steve Carell and Lucy by Kristen Wiig. They are leading the family life now with uh, Gru's adopted daughters, Margot, Edith, and Agnes. And of course, the Merry Minions. You can't do one of these movies without the Minions. The Minions actually had their own spin-off movie and it proved to be a little too much of a good thing. But back in a supporting role, they are gold, or should I say yellow. They, they are irresistible additions to the fun in this movie. In fact, that's when I laughed every single time they came on screen. I can't wait to meet my brother! It is genuinely crazy animation in the style of Tex Avery or the Looney Tunes. Just a gag a second, and there are so many sight gags in this. And I really think that's difficult to pull off and make it funny. This is just not a by-the-numbers kids flick, and it should get more attention for what it really is and what it means to the world of animation today. It's really brought back the fun in this stuff. Plot-wise has Gru and Lucy getting fired from their job in the Anti-Villain League because they have failed to bring in the arch-villain this time, a guy named Balthasar Brat. He's a failed kid star from the 80s who had this stupid show that somehow got canceled that he's still upset about. He can't stop talking about that. It sends him into a life of crime when he grows up. He's voiced by Trey Parker, and he plays him to the hilt, of course. That leads to a lot of frenetic action sequences, all the kind of silliness you might expect here. But really, this movie also has heart. That's one of the things that distinguishes the Despicable Me series. Amidst all the carnage and craziness, there is heart. Pito patami lomi la takati ki pouletika, c'est pas la joie des mito kalana moule makarena. Paoletus pa bo patime le c'est pas makagusta mami le bel me la moustache la pika moucha. For me, it's all about the minions and Pharrell Williams' music is back. You remember the song Happy, nominated for an Academy Award a couple of years ago? Well, he's got more music here and it's a lot of fun, particularly with the minions at the helm. There's one sequence set in the prison where they sing uh, Pharrell Williams' Freedom. Both these sequences are the highlights of the movie for me, but it's just lots of fun. And now we get twice the fun here as far as Steve Carell goes because another new character in this movie is his long-lost twin brother, Drew. So that's right, you've got Gru and Drew cut from the same cloth, but not really as we learn family secrets. Also thanks to a one-scene cameo from Julie Andrews as Gru's mother. So they are not exactly wonderful siblings here, but they get the action done. And Drew seems to be modeled after a physical recreation of a Donald Trump, God help us. Anyway, this movie, Despicable Me 3, throws it all at the screen. The surprising thing is so much of it lands. It's lots of family fun. I say, go.